I don't know how to say goodbye to you. I've thought about this for weeks now. And I don't know how to say goodbye to you. Today I'm announcing my retirement. I will work one more week at the ticket and my last day will be next Friday, June 23rd. I want to assure you this is not health related. So many of you have helped carry me through the last three years or so in which there were some serious health minutes. But it's, it's not health related. Know that you always understand that, that a moment like this is coming. It's coming for all of us. Donnie and I talked about it yesterday. It, it, Job and I talked about it on the phone. You don't know exactly when, but I think in all of us who have become addicted to this job, there's a dread that comes with it. Strangely, after telling my showmates yesterday morning, and then telling what must have been 70 or 80 people in a staff room yesterday afternoon, I feel pretty content about this. You have no idea how much I love this job. But there's a next chapter in my life. I, I will write, uh, I will start a podcast in September. Uh, I will travel with m my Mary. I will come back to the ticket. This isn't me leaving here forever. I'll do fill-in work so Donnie can go to a Snoop Dogg concert. I'll, I'll do NBA and NFL draft. I'll do the Normathon. You must also understand that when Dan Bennett my friend of 37 years now. We put together the KLIF morning show. It was the first all sports morning show in a major market in America in 1986. My, my friend Dan Bennett asked me at KLIF to come down to the ticket in the memory fades now, 98, somewhere in there, okay? I didn't want to come here. I, I did not want to come here. But as Dan explained to me, I had this contract. <laughs> this station has made me a better talk show host. I thought this station was full of wackos before I came down here. And now I've come to realize there were only one or two. I've come to respect these people so much. All of them. Come to love them. <laughs> I know it's fun for everybody to pit Gordon against against me, but I've got to single him out for just a moment. I thought when I got here, Gordon was a dangerous wacko. <laughs> then, <laughs> then I found out what an incredible brain he had. And then I found out that all that stuff on the air that sounds so wacky, that's the result of work. That, that's the result of a lot of work. I'm, I'm going to so miss the people here. I love Donnie and Sean, DJ and Tyler. Of all my years together, I think this is the best crew I've ever worked with. Because we're all so different, and yet we're all so blended. Approaching this day, there's this jumble of feelings, of sadness, of anticipation, of emotion of excitement. And yes, 
there have been and will still probably be some moments of grief. I love this job. I love you out there for listening, for emailing, for calling, for writing letters. Thank you for letting me have 48 years of a voice in this city. What will retirement look like? Well, I'm not sure. I'll still get up at six o'clock in the morning. Then I'll have coffee. Then I'll tear through the sports page. But other than Mary, I won't have anybody to talk to. And she's still not sure about teams in this area, what they are. That has been 48 years now. Thank you. Thank all of you. This is a terrific city. These are wonderful fans. This may be the best city to do sports talk in in this country. I could tick off all of the other major cities and talk about... <clears throat> Things that may make you uncomfortable doing work in those cities. But this is a beautiful place. I am ready for whatever is next. But I have loved you. And I will miss this place. I'll miss you. And none of you can imagine how much. <laughs>